Welcome to New Start at Home. I'm Dr. David DeRose, your host today, and we're going to be looking at a fascinating topic. To help us do that is Hilda Lisa Flickinger. Hilda Lisa, it's wonderful to have you with us today. Nice to be here. For some of our viewers, they may not have met you. Uh, you've got some very impressive credentials when it comes to the subjects of nutrition. You have a Master's of Science in Nutrition, is that correct? I do. You're also a registered dietitian. Yes. You've worked with uh, very difficult clinical patients, uh, some of the most difficult in the hospital, dealing with things like what we call parenteral nutrition. Mm -hmm. well, what is just parenteral nutrition for those who aren't in the know? Parenteral nutrition is a specialty within the field of dietetics or nutrition that deals with the critically ill, often patients that are in the ICU, and uh, basically gives them nutrition through an IV. Okay, so you've dealt with this very high-tech science, you've been in the intensive care units, the ICUs, and yet you have a special interest in helping people in every walk of life really have better health, isn't that right? Definitely, and we do need that. And Hilda Lisa, you have some interesting roles here on the Weimar campus. Tell our viewers a little bit about what you're involved with currently. I'm one of the instructors for the um, Amazing Facts Center of Evangelism. I'm one of the health instructors there. Tremendous. I know a lot of exciting things are happening there. Young people, uh, people of all ages, getting energized about how health can make a difference in ministering to their communities. And today we want to look at a very important health topic, don't we? Definitely. We're going to look at um, a little bit about the obesity crisis in America. And we know that we also have a crisis in the diet-related uh, diseases, such as diabetes and hypertension and cancer. So Hilda Lisa, when we speak about overweight and obesity, most people don't like the term obesity, but many people, whether they meet the medical definition of being obese or whether they just know they've got to trim down, the same issues are really relevant, aren't they, as far as just losing some pounds? Definitely. Now, you know, I meet a lot of people that are ready to make changes, especially in their diet habits. And uh, the federal government has issued different models to guide the American public as to what a healthy diet should be. And we've all seen the food guide pyramids, mm -hmm. pyramids of course. And uh, actually, the first food pyramid was issued about two decades ago. Wow. But it's interesting to know that since then, diabetes and obesity are commonplace. And just a, a couple of impressive statistics, 27% of young adults are too overweight to qualify for military service. 27%. 27, and one in three children born in 2000 will develop diabetes. Wow, so we got a huge problem. The food pyramid hasn't solved it. Is there a better way of planning our nutrition besides using the food pyramid? Yes, the, there is a better way. Now, the good thing about the food pyramid is that it does tell people to eat more fruits and vegetables. Okay. Um, however, it does recommend that they eat two to three servings each from the meat group and the dairy mm. products. Mm -hmm. And that's in spite of studies that show that these foods increase risk for chronic disease and increase obesity. So you're saying that the meat and the dairy products are not good things if we're trying to lose weight? Definitely not. Now, just some interesting facts. You know that the average American eats more than 215 pounds of meat a year. And that's up from 144 pounds in 1950. 215 pounds, the average American. Now, Hilda Lisa, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a vegetarian. So <laughs> there's got to be someone else who's eating those 215 pounds that they attribute to me. That's right. <laughs> So something is, is maybe a bit confusing about this food pyramid, and, uh, and it recommends foods that are unhelpful and unnecessary. But fortunately, like you said, there is a, an option out there, and uh, it's called the power plate. And it basically, it's put out by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, and it has recommendations based on research that shows that plant-based foods are the most nutritious and protect against diseases. This is tremendous. So really we want to be eating more of those fruits, grains, 
legumes, the bean family, and vegetables. This is powerful stuff, Hilda Lisa. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at nutrition, how you can, by choosing more plant foods, make a difference in your weight. If you want more information, you can go to our New Start Lifestyle Club, simply newstartclub.com for that additional information. Thank you.